Hi friends, my name is Saran Kumar. Welcome to my channel, The Excelism. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to reconcile two data sets. Reconciliation is very common in our office, whatever the work we do day in and day out. Be it reconciliation of bank data with the books data, or be it statutory compliance data with the books data and so on. In this case study, I've taken the source data as per the books, that is ERP, and the source data as per the bank. Let me start the reconciliation. Before going for the reconciliation work, let me change this title as a ERP and let me take this title as a bank because I am going to use one feature in Excel called consolidate. Consolidate summarize data from more than one data sources. If this is amount and this is also amount, it's going to take reference number as a common point. It's going to sum this value on this value, but I don't want that. I want ERP must appear in one column and bank also must appear into one column. So let me keep the cursor here. Let me go to the data tab. Let me click the consolidate icon. In this consolidate, you have Excel is asking which function you want to use. By default, it is sum. You can even select count, average, max, min, product, and so on. In this present case, I want to take sum. Now, let me take the reference. Now, in this case, you should not take only the data. You should also consider the headings. So, along with the headings, let me consider as a first reference. Let me add this data into the consolidate feature. Also, let me take the second data source, including the headings. Till the last record, let me add this data into the consolidate feature. Don't forget to check top row and left column. The meaning of top row and left column is I want to use unique top rows as the labels and unique left column as the label. The meaning is if any of the left column value is repeating, Excel will use the sum function. That means all those values with reference to that reference number will be added together. In the same way, if my top row is repeating with the same name, with reference to the reference number, it's going to sum those values. In this case, I'm having the left column, maybe the values are duplicates, and it's going to sum up based on the unique values. If I click OK, I'll be having three columns. First column is the reference number, second column is the ERP, third column is the bank. If you observe, this left column values are the unique values. This is the reference numbers. Let me take the reference here. Just for the formatting sake, I'm just copying and pasting the same headings. Now I want to have a difference here. Because I want to do the reconciliation, taking the balance as per ERP, but I want to reach to bank data. So let me take bank minus ERP. Just copy and paste this data. Let me this and drag this down you got the differences now let me have the remarks here In any reconciliation you take the remarks are common generally we have four remarks one reconcile that means based on the unique item both in the sources having the same balance the second one is only available in the source one the third remark is only available in source 2. The fourth remark is available in both the sources but with the differences. Now, let me select this data and use the filter. I am calling this methodology as a four filter methodology. That means by just doing four filters, I can get the remarks here properly. Now, let me use the first filter for the... I'm sorry. First filter for the ERP column. For what? Blanks. Now let me filter for the blanks. Let me click here. Deselect all. Let me click blanks. Let me give a remark here. Available in bank only. Right? Now let me select here. Clear the filter. Now I want to use the second filter for bank column that is nothing but the source 2 for blanks now let me filter only the blanks click ok now let me give a remark available in erp only let me clear the filter 
Now I want to use third difference column, third filter for zeros. Let me filter for only zeros. Zero difference means these all are reconciled. Let me give a remark as reconciled. Now clear the filter. The last filter I want to use for the remarks column. This is the fourth filter. I want to use for the blanks. Let me filter out only the blanks. These all are the items available in both but with a difference. So let me take here available in both but with difference. Now let me copy the same and paste here. Let me clear the filter. You can just select this data and you can use column out of it. Now let me scroll towards right side. I'm just keeping only these two columns because I'm going to use these two columns in my final reconciliation. Now I want to take the particulars. Now let me take the amount. What is the reconciliation method I'm going to follow here? Let me take the balance as per ERP. What is the balance as per ERP? Now let me come towards left side. This is the balance 4, 10, 7, 30. So let me enter. Now I wanted to take except the reconciled remaining all remarks here for which I am using a small methodology. Let me or else I can simply take first I want to add. So let me add one more column here. I want to add whatever available in only bank because I am going to reach to the bank balance. Make sure that the description you have taken in the remarks and uh, in the reconciliation the adjustment description both are same. That's the reason I simply copied this and I pasted here. Available in bank only. Now I am going to do minus available in ERP only because I will be reaching uh, to the bank balance. So let me copy this and paste here. So whatever the balances only available in ERP, I'll be reducing that. Whatever the balances only in the bank, I'll be adding that. Now, plus or minus, we are not sure that is based on how much difference we have. So this plus or minus adjustment, I'll be doing for this. Available in both but with differences. Now let me out of it the column width. Reconcile, you need not to take it because those all absolutely reconcile. That means balance as per source 1 and balance as per source 2, both are matching. Now, I want to reach the balance as per bank. Now, this must be equal to the sum function. Now, let me sum all these values, close bracket, enter. Now, let me give the border for this. Let me check it out. A check. The check is nothing but equal to this minus I want to take the balance as per the bank that should be ideally zero. Let me enter. Right now this 31,330 must be my total of the reconciliation. Now what I am going to do? Let me use a sum if function to get the values here. I'm going to use the sum if function equal to sum if. What is the range in which I need to look for? This is what the range. When I copy and paste, this should not change. So let me put F4, comma. Now I want to look for this value in this range. So my criteria is available in bank only, comma. Sum range, which column value I want to sum? That is a difference column. Let me select this. F4 is the shortcut to make it absolute cell reference. Let me close this. Enter. Copy and paste. If you look into the checker, that's nothing but a validation control. Absolutely it is matching. So this is the small reconciliation I have done. Right? And here if you observe, I have used the traditional method of the formula. Instead of this, even you can take the dynamic arrays introduced in the Office 365. Instead of taking this, now let me add the same thing and Control C, paste here. Now let me take the same balance. 
I just want to give you the balance as per ERP and balance as per the bank. Let me copy the same thing. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is the total of this. Now let me use the dynamic arrays uh, uh, concept introduced in the Microsoft 365. It is very simple than dynamic arrays. Now I'll be using equal to sum if look into this range four comma look for all these three comma total the values in this column. Let me close this. If I enter, first it will take 05 value, it's going to produce the result. Second, it will take 06. Third, it will take 07. Since this is 3 by 1 matrix, the results also will appear here 3 by 1 matrix. If I enter, it's going to spill the values. So one formula spill to three cells. Here in the traditional way, we have taken the formula for each item. We used a relative reference concept. When I copy and paste, it has automatically take the, taken the second item. So now this is the total of this. Now this check is this minus, I want to take the bank balance. I'm sure that must be correct, right? So either you can do in this way or else you can even take the balance as per the bank. Then you will get the plus or minus to this and you can reach to the balance as per the ERP. Any of the method is same. Friends, this is a very simple method I feel because in this entire methodology, I have not used any great formulas. I call this as a four filter methodology. You must know first, what is the filter you should take? Second filter, what? Third filter and fourth filter. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next video. If you like these videos, you can subscribe my channel. You can click the like button.